Good morning. It is 8 a.m. and I am getting ready for my day. I thought I would show you guys how I do a slick back hairstyle because when my hair has reached this point in the week, it's like both greasy and dry and frizzy at the same time. So the first thing I do is put it in a loose ponytail and then I'm just gonna apply gel all over. I am taking a boar bristle brush and a little bit more gel to really smooth the hair. And this I feel like is absolutely key. Like you can't really do this hairstyle without this if you want it to be this smooth. At this point we could either go for like a messy bun, a braid that's slicked back, or even just if you take a claw clip, you can have like the little spiky things, which I think is always cute but I am just gonna go for a low bun. And I actually really love having a ponytail as the base because I feel like it just really locks that bun in. It is not moving. And this is a hairstyle I love doing if I'm going out at night too because it is impenetrable. You can dance, you can sweat, and it's not going anywhere. I really tried. I feel like that was a good one. Sorry. Hitting it with some hairspray so it really lasts all day long. I am mostly doing errands today, but I also need some groceries and I might get a coffee while I'm out. That is the completed look. I just put on my sunscreen and now we are ready to tackle this very gray gloomy day. For breakfast, I'm making a yogurt and granola bowl with some fruit. I am really trying to focus on gut health and I'm not a huge fan of yogurt, but I know how good it is for me. So I try to make it as interesting as I can with granola and honey, <laughs> just, you know, to make it really nice and textured. With breakfast, I take my gut health supplements from my doctor, but I've also recently added Nutrafol into my routine and specifically their women's vegan formula, which is a hair growth supplement that targets your hair shedding at the source. So it has vitamin A, C, D, B12, zinc, selenium, which is so good for your thyroid, and a lot of supplements that I was supplementing separately that now I don't have to because they're all combined right here. It even has ashwagandha and a lot of ingredients that help with stress and sleep and really things that could be the root cause of your hair shedding. And I have always had really thin, brittle nails and my lashes and brows lately have not been growing as thick as they used to. So I figured while I'm working on my gut health, it would probably really benefit me to work on nutritional gaps in my diet and spaces that I haven't been the best at supplementing because it is really hard to remember to take all of those individually so it's really easy it's just four supplements and i like to take them with breakfast just because i feel like that is a meal that i consistently eat every day this has been a really easy thing to incorporate into my routine consistency is always key when it comes to supplements but it's clinically shown to improve hair growth and strength so i will update you guys it should take about three to six months but I look at my eyebrows and eyelashes and weak nails every single day. So I am sure I will notice a difference and I will let you guys know. But if you wanna check out Nutrafol, I will put the information in the description box. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. And now I think we're gonna go to the grocery store. This zip up is from La Casa and I'm wearing my new sneakers that I just unboxed. These are from New Balance, they're the 2002R, and they're so cute, they're beige. I got them off StockX, and so far, very comfortable. I am like a huge New Balance fan, but my everyday pair, the 574s, I've completely like destroyed the tread on the bottom, it's just gone, because I wear them to walk Sammy every morning. So these are gonna be my new everyday shoe. Made it out alive. Uh, the parking lot was getting so crazy as I left. I am so grateful that I can go grocery shopping during the week when it's less busy, but sometimes it's randomly still extremely busy. Um, but I got my groceries and I also picked up Sammy's dog food because I was running out and I get it frozen.
time for a little grocery haul. This isn't a whole lot of stuff, just kind of like a re-up on some produce and eggs. I always get Vital Farms eggs. I like the pasture-raised ones. I don't go for the organic, that's like two more dollars, and these ones are still expensive. I do feel that it is worth it. I also got some mushrooms, which I do think are not the lowest in FODMAPs, but I don't find that they hurt my stomach, so I'm still eating them. Bananas, I feel like I eat one a day, if not putting them in smoothies and things like that. I got two zucchinis and some dill. I appreciate that their produce is just like out in the wild for the most part, you can just like grab it. It just, I hate all the plastic at Trader Joe's, but obviously Whole Foods is a little bit more expensive. I got two russet potatoes, some hemp seeds, some tempeh, my favorite gluten-free vegetable pot stickers. These are a must for me. I used to eat the Trader Joe's pot stickers all the time before going gluten-free, and these are the perfect replacement. They are only at some Whole Foods locations though, which is a little bit frustrating. And then I stocked up on Cliff Bars because they were on sale, and my favorite one is the peanut butter banana. It tastes like banana bread. And these are just perfect for when I'm out of the house and need a little pick me up. I am someone that like gets very hangry very quickly. So I like to keep these on hand so that my friends don't get mad at me and that I don't get mad at them. <laughs> When I go to the grocery store, I very much like to think in meals. So for breakfast, we have eggs, bananas, yogurt bowls, frittatas. And for lunch, I've mostly been doing like tofu bowls or tuna salad. So that's why I bought dill for the tuna salad. I also really love tempeh as a protein option with like stir fried noodles. So that's like a really great dinner protein. It's really easy. You just kind of need to marinate it because it's like very plain. Zucchini, I feel like is just my favorite vegetable. Uh, it's the easiest on my stomach. So I'll have this sauteed with like a tofu bowl, more of like an Asian seasoning or I will roast it and have it with pasta and like a marinara sauce or pesto. That's actually what I did last night. So I think that's what I'm gonna have for lunch, just my leftovers, even though I don't really want them, but I'm hungry and they're there. This is just gluten-free pasta with cherry tomatoes, roasted yellow squash and some spinach and Rao's Sensitive Marinara. If you haven't already heard me talk about this, it is no onions and garlic marinara. So if you struggle with digesting those, this is a great thing to have. And I get so much use out of a single jar. So this is just how much I used last night. But later this week, I can definitely do like a pizza with it or a pizza bagel, maybe another pasta, um, or just freeze the rest of this if I'm not gonna use it right away. I just took a quick shower and I'm putting on a touch of makeup because Dom and Soph invited me to Community Goods for a coffee and I love that coffee shop. It is just like really minimalist and they have really good chai as well as vanilla lattes. So we'll see what I end up getting. I usually just have like a single shot latte at home so it's not too much coffee but I just had such a hearty lunch that I feel like I could definitely go for a vanilla latte. This Merit blush when you buy it is a complete dome and now it is flat. So that really shows you how much I like it. This is the shade Beverly Hills and my skin is so dry. That's why I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. I have just been focusing on hydration and then when I do wear makeup, every single product is cream basically to give the illusion of like really glowy, healthy skin. And then this is the Fenty Lip Gloss in Pinch Me. I have been using this little tiny sample of a fragrance from By Far called Of Passing Clouds. They sent me their sampler of like multiple fragrances. And this one is absolutely my favorite. I have no idea how to describe it other than it smells like passing clouds. The base is patchouli and then it has like lighter floral notes on top which tends to be my favorite kind of fragrances. I also liked their Love Trance. It was just like a little bit sweeter, but it was so kind of them to send me that because I love fragrances. I think it's just like such a fun way to like 
take your outfit to the next level, a 3D approach, you know what I mean? I really love Glossy AU. That's the fragrance I wear almost every single day. I just never get tired of it. And then when I feel like being kind of special, I will wear um, Le Labo Vani 44, which is like really hard to get your hands on. So I try and use it sparingly. That's probably like my more nighttime fragrance. And a quick outfit of the day before I head out, I'm wearing my flouncy thrifted Old Navy skirt with a thrifted Harley Davidson tee, thrifted Mary Janes, and my bag is the brand Melly Bianco. I think I got it last year, but now it's finally like the season to wear it. And I've been wearing this with everything. I feel like it just takes every outfit and makes it more summer, more beachy. That's my outfit. I'll get a vanilla bean latte iced with almond milk. Oh my god. Thank you, you got me last time. Wow, you're so kind. I will do the same. Same thing. Oh, these shoes are sick. Thank you. I thrifted them. This is so nice. It is. This is so cute too. This is so spring summer. It's so unique. It would be it's hard giving. to keep clean. There's also a pink one. It's the toe. It's the toe. They were so close. They were literally perfect, except the toe was giving rumple still skin. <laughs> also, that top. This was really, really cute. I'm not going to lie. Dom and I just went to. Where did we just go? We went to community goods then we went to reformation vintage now we're walking around the neighborhood to get back to the car we took in some inspiration that store is so cute it's so cute but just expensive because they is. curate it very yeah. well i feel like if i have to think too hard about anything yeah well a tank top just shouldn't be 70 dollars. it just shouldn't and also i'm like if i like literally can't stop thinking about it that i'm like okay maybe yeah I just... bought like one thing from there and it was because I had that like draw. Yeah. But if you're not, if you don't love it. If you don't yeah. love it, which I feel like is what they're going for anyways. Like they want people to love what they're buying. Mm -hmm. Which is why they price with confidence. I am home obviously. And I am just importing some footage from today's vlog. And also yesterday because I shot recreating outfits from Pinterest and it was so much fun but anytime I do one of those I'm way too tired afterward to edit it so filmed it yesterday gonna rough cut it today probably gonna finish it up like within the next two days and then turn it into the brand so that's kind of like what my workflow is like we had a great time and we ran into another friend and she said that we smelled good. And that is the best compliment ever, especially because I was wearing a new fragrance today. It just, you know, confirms that, okay, it does smell good on me <laughs> because every fragrance does kind of like adjust to your natural scent. And then Dom was wearing Noir something, Noir. Normally I would start prepping for dinner around now, but I'm going to Zinke with my boyfriend because he worked through lunch and needed something to look forward to so i am very excited i really love that restaurant i'm probably gonna get like a salad with some salmon on top maybe some shoestring fries it's my favorite kind and it'll be really great i'm excited this weekend i'm going to joshua tree for one of my best friend's birthdays so my parents are watching sammy so that we can all just like leave from la and go to joshua tree and i don't have to worry about like dropping her off down in orange county and then going to joshua tree so that's why i don't have a little sammy running around and i do feel like i'm able to be so much more productive but I feel better when I'm starting my day with a 30 minute walk and without her, it's like hard for me to do that. Or at least I just, I don't know. It's like, I'm out of my routine. Oh my God. In an amazing turn of events, this morning I'm driving to Cerritos to see a car that I might buy with my parents because I've been driving my mom's car. She wants it back and i've been looking at rav4s that's what i want that's what i had i just want the newer one a hybrid and that's where i'm going right now so fingers crossed 
Okay, it has a cute blinker noise. I bought a car. I'm in my new car. I can't believe it either. I'm currently in like the most back-to-back -back traffic on the way home. We went to the Cerritos Auto Square, which has like every possible car dealership. It feels so good. I was so hungry after my workout class. I like can't even think straight. This is the crispy rice bowl with tofu instead of chicken and sweet potato instead of cucumber. I'm gonna set my salad down so I can actually tell you what happened. My dad calls me, we go to see a Toyota hybrid XLE that is at a Volkswagen dealership. It has super low mileage and it was a really good deal, but they didn't have all the information about different kinds of Toyotas because it was a Volkswagen dealership. And I saw that we were close by a Toyota dealership and I just had this gut feeling that this car wasn't the right one, but it was close. It was a dark, dark midnight blue and I liked it. It just didn't have all the safety features that I wanted that I really was looking for in getting a new car, like kind of the reason I wanted one. So we go across the street to the Toyota dealership and they say, we don't have a lot of hybrids. They get sold out like immediately. A lot of people want them but we walk around the lot and they have a Toyota RAV Hybrid XSE, which is the next step above, which has all of the safety features. It has sensors all around the car, backup camera that beeps on the front and the back if you get too close to things. It has JBL speakers, tinted windows, blacked out wheels, like things that I dreamt of that I thought would be good in a car that I didn't even know could come in a Toyota RAV4. Like it looks so high end and so nice. And it's the same type of car that I learned to drive in. So it has the same really nice turning radius. It's super safe, reliable. Toyotas last forever. And it just really truly felt like fate. So I bought it and I've never bought a car before. It always felt too intimidating. It was the last thing I expected to do today. I've wanted to buy a car for the last like year and a half or longer, but it's just felt so overwhelming and something I couldn't do alone. So having my parents there with me was so helpful just because my dad knows so much more about the ins and outs of taking care of cars as well as buying cars. And this is the first hybrid in my family, so they don't know a lot about hybrids, but it was something that I felt really strongly about because it you save money on gas and it's better for the environment and I do a lot of driving. And the drive home was an hour long from Cerritos and it was a smooth, wonderful drive. And the music in the speakers, it just was like, I felt so happy and I just truly have been riding that high all evening. I went to a Pilates class and I am so excited to go on my road trip tomorrow in my new car and I really need to pack tonight. I'm like a little bit stressed about that. I just finished doing my evening skincare, so here is what I am packing. I'm keeping it really simple with a cleansing balm to take off my makeup, cleanser, my favorite serum that I swear by. I have to use this every night to keep my skin clear and the moisturizer I'm currently using. I feel like those are pretty small. They don't take up too much space. And then I'm bringing my face sunscreen that I wear every day, body sunscreen, as well as spray sunscreen. I'm just putting that in my other bag. And I'm just bringing makeup that will fit in this one pouch. Trying to keep it small and only bringing stuff that I mostly use my hands with. And then medications and supplements which are kind of a lot. I'm a bit of a mom when it comes to packing. Like I have Tylenol, I have allergy medication, I have Band-Aids, but that's just who I am. And then this is what I'm packing clothes wise. I got this really cute weekender bag. I will find out the brand cause it just got sent to me filled with product and I love it. I've been using it when I go home to see my family and it just fits everything. But I have a matching pajama set, what I'm gonna wear on the day back what I'm gonna wear tomorrow night for Claire's birthday. I'm thinking like all black with like this lace top and a bikini for the pool, a dress that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Maybe, we'll see. I still have time to figure that out. A hat just in case it's way too hot and my Kindle, of course, 
And I feel like that's kind of the basics. I also obviously have like underwear and socks. We were only in Joshua Tree for one night and it was about 11 of us in one Airbnb. So I didn't vlog too much, but my car took the drive perfectly. We picked up a bunch of food at the Des and Natural Sisters Cafe and then just laid out by the pool all day long. And I haven't had such a relaxing time. I read my book and this space was just so beautiful. It was so fun to celebrate Claire's birthday and meet some of her friends that I hadn't met before. And it was just such a nice weekend. If you wanna check out the Airbnb, I can link it below. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you guys later.